Healthy Kids Running Series is a race in a box. It's a national program that is run on a local level. We are currently in 35 states and really it's local community leaders, parents, teachers, PTAs, etc., who will hear of Healthy Kids, they reach out to us, and we send them everything that they'll need, their, their race in a box, all the supplies that they'll need to get the race started. When a coordinator wants to start a program, they go to our main website, they click on start a race, and they receive an email and a call from our business development team who kind of explain to them all the different platforms of things that we use in order to help execute their program in their local community. We provide the run sign up database for them. They each get a social media platform, they are given how-to videos and how to use everything. We also order all of their supplies for them. The race in a box is not only the supplies that they need to run the program, but it's also the education behind it. The run sign up videos, we've actually sent those out in order to show the coordinators how to use the system. We've also created them some from our office that is more specific for the things that they have permissions to do. With our coordinators coming from all different backgrounds, they don't all necessarily feel confident with technology. So we give them access to different things such as the email marketing, the volunteer tabs. They have some information about their series financials that they can see. They are not provided the ability to be able to modify their race, you know, within the race wizard, divisions, race time, things like that. We try to keep everything uniform brand-wise nationally. So those are edits that we try to make in the national office. Run Sign Up is a way for us to be able to help them to deliver in the community and execute their program with ease. So there's a lot of different features that are quite helpful for us on the back end to help them manage the program. So one would be the email marketing. All of the families are able to register in the system. All their contact information is in there. The coordinators are able to go in, send out their weekly updates. Responses come directly to their email accounts. There's a volunteer section that is in Run Sign Up as well. So they're able to create the different tasks of things that they need for race day and how many they need. And they're also able to email those that have volunteered as well. And what is really nice is they could go back to the past season and contact those that had also volunteered, which is great. Using the access they do have, they can communicate with their families through email. They are able to run marketing reports to discover families that perhaps registered in the past that haven't currently registered for the upcoming season to reach out to them specifically. We're always, every season, we're, we're looking anew at, okay, what did they not need? What features really should we be giving them? We just finished this spring with 232 races, I believe, running, and then we signed 49 contracts for this fall. So we'll be upwards of 270 plus programs running this fall, which is exciting. All of our races are on run sign up. We do a bunch of reporting at the partner level specifically tracking registrations nationally, but it allows us to drill down into some local races to see who's really excelling, identify some of those folks that are really doing well or struggling and how we can help them. It helps us understand our registration numbers better. We can look through specific time periods. We can look for just specific races. If maybe we want to compare different races in certain parts of the country, why is this one better than that one? For me, the partner level, I love the searchability. I have a lot of parents that will call. Sometimes they'll say, I'm really confused about which series I signed up for, or did I even sign my child up for the program? So I can go into the partner level, type in their child's name or their email address, and then it'll pull up which series across the country they're registered in, when they registered, the specific town, all of that information.